Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Combat X, Skies of Deception. In the last mission, we took back the, the, emblem the port, the Southern Cross. and now we're looking at a low resolution of my emblem. Bearing the mark of the Southern Hemisphere brought about the defeat of Laysath forces. But the story barely made the news, and the army showed no apparent reaction. Almost nightly, Laysath's commanding officer, Diego Gaspar Navarro, place host to grand banquets within Gaius Tower. This evening, oh man, they got hors d'oeuvres. Proudly trumpeting the glory of his airborne fortress. I've heard this got like, so many times. It feels like uh, it it looks like a steak, a, a lot good of thing, wine, lets me maybe a, on a the punch bowl full of shrimp. As I gazed out the window at the night sky, I felt as if even the phases of the moon were somehow at odds with those of the northern hemisphere. The words of a fellow reporter. They so got hot dogs on lettuce, some grapes. Wine, really got me thinking about the price of the glass of wine in my hand. One glass of it is roughly equivalent to several years of a Lysathian citizen's salary. Haven't the long years of civil war? Oh, not the Lysathian Japanese mini truck. War torn nation. Whatever the case, much is unclear about the flow of money in Laysath. Ever since I arrived here, I've only covered stories the military had approved. However, this particular mystery just might be worth investigating on my own. The idea was nothing more than the product of an idle mind. At least at the time. I like this game's cutscene style. Same as like in Ace Combat 4. I think it's kind of aged better than like Ace Combat 5's 3D models or um, Ace Combat um, okay. Let's get started with a Ace Combat 0's live action FMVs. Our best option under the circumstances would be to still still use the term FMVs Elva. for cutscenes? Santa Elva is I mean, obviously the pre-rendered ones, I mean. I think people just say pre-rendered cutscenes now. However, there are several other strategic points on the way to Santa Elva. Which points you choose and in what order you do so is up to you. It looks like your decisions will affect the course of this battle. I know it's an immense responsibility, but there's no one else to count on. We're relying on you. A lot of choices. But I think it you can only do uh, two or three choices. Gathering at Kings Hill. It looks like they're trying to take back Port Patterson. I wonder what they're up to. Next, we have reports that the Allied Davis unit is cut off at Stand Canyon. Sounds like Sand Canyon, which was at Kirby level in Kirby's Dream Land 3. That came out a cool art style. With the long strike range of the Gleipnir, there's not much our forces can do. It appears that the enemy is moving towards Stand Canyon to eliminate our remaining forces. We'll need those remaining forces in our attack on Santa Elva, so I think we should probably send help. If left alone, uh, they'll be helpless against the aerial fortress. Just like what happened to us at Cape Aubrey. Also, Santa Elva is a key location for the enemy, and I think they'll concentrate their forces there. We'll have major problems if they send in their aerial fortress. That makes sense. I'll give you more details once you decide on a route. Please tell me which route you plan to take. Alrighty, I think since we can only do two missions, I'll do one that I have played and one that I haven't. So let's do Rolling Thunder first in Stand Canyon. Hopefully I won't get hit by an arrow. Ground forces are stranded at Stand Canyon. There are members of the Davis unit who were en route to an assault on Santa Elva when they were cut off from the main force. The Santa Elva offensive could use their support, and we can hardly leave them for dead. However, Laysath has already begun mobilizing a search and destroy operation. It's only a matter of time before the Davis unit is wiped out. I think we should launch a strike now and save as many of our troops as we can. Although the area of attack is within range of Gleipnir's SWBM, the very same weapon that devastated our squadron. 
by implementing shielding and flying low through the canyon. It should be possible to avoid an attack by the SWBM. Sounds good. In the event that Gleipnir should attack, stay below the rim of the canyon or less than 2,400 feet. So it's pretty much like Stonehenge. I can work with that. And I know I unlocked a new aircraft class mission. What did I get? Oh no, wait, these are the ones I already own. Wait, no, no, they are not. Wait, what? No, no. Oh, it's just showing planes I already have, so. I unlocked the MiG-21. I don't think I really want to buy that. Let's see. Anything else? I don't think so. No, no, I don't want to buy an F-117. Damn it. Alrighty, so I'll stick with my F-1 with its... Let's try the RCLs. I don't know how good the RCLs are because I never really use them in, except for like Ace Combat 6. They were very good in that game, but they seem kind of wimpy in when I've tried them in the other ones. Nice thing about playing this on an Xbox controller like I'm doing is that I can bind the yaw to, um, oh, I can bind it to the bumper buttons instead of having to use the D-pad. Which means I don't have to move my thumb when I need to do that. Alright, let's try the RCLs on this launcher. That missed so goddamn badly. Um, oh, it's probably because that thing's moving. But the RCLs are going to work best against a target that's staying in place. Oh, they work on a bridge. They won't work at all. Oh, whoa, 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 this plane doesn't move too well. Whoa, that was close and I just blew into the microphone. That was dumb. Shit. All right. Shoot, allies are taking losses. Oh, and you get a lot of screen shaking with the uh, SWBMs, so try not to let yourselves get disoriented by that. Great, our AOX has PTSD. Poor guy. Missiles reload pretty quickly in this one. I was having trouble with that in when I did my Ace Combat 7 playthrough, but not so in this game. Alright, this is what the RCLs are for, but they fire kind of high. Alright, slow down, slow down. Okay, here's some things I can attack. But I'm not doing too well on this mission so far. I haven't really been taking care of the threats to the ground forces. Tanks take two hits to go down. It's like skies unknown. Oof. Alrighty. Come on, Davis unit. I won't let you down. Okay, just an AA gun. It's not a big deal. But it looks like there's a tank approaching. Maybe the, the bridge will make it hard for him to pass. I'm pretty sure I've done that at some point in Ace Combat. Oh, dang it. For some reason, I don't know why I tried to do that. Thought I could explain it, but it's beyond me why I fired after my missile missed. I wasn't even on target. But 
eventually got him. That's good. 33 missiles. It's, that's acceptable. But I'll go ahead and use my AA gun. Alright, I'll fly over the mountains. And then slow down a bit. Jesus. Oh, someone's. Oh, I didn't think that would hit. That was kind of flying away from me, but. Must be one of those missiles that. Or, I must have gotten hit by the missile's explosion. Alright, I don't want to say nice and low. not that quick but I think it's an attacker so that's to be expected I don't even know if this thing can go supersonic oh and I guess that's the mission hi bridge guess it's invincible B rank is kind of disappointing but I guess Dave's going to take a lot of damage this victory has also allowed us to begin formalizing a strategy for the recapture of Santa Elba. Sounds good. New ports. Alright, so next mission we will be going for the Gleipnir and like at Terminal Island, so stay tuned for that and have an awesome day.